I am actually cracked at Brawl Stars. Like, literally cracked. Yeah, so bad might be an understatement, but you have not seen the worst of it, because it gets much, much, much worse. Okay, you get the point. So today, I'm going to build a bot to make me much better at Brawl Stars. And by better, I mean becoming so good that I never take any damage, essentially becoming invincible. So here is my epic master plan. We are going to take two frames of gameplay, and in those two frames, there's going to be a bullet coming towards me. Then the AI is going to dodge that bullet given these two frames, and that's about it. Well, to go into more detail, I'm going to get an AI to detect where the bullets are on the screen, then draw a box around it. And given this box, I can form a straight line through each of the boxes. Now that I have a line, I can calculate if the player is touching that line, and if it is, then it's going to move. However, if it isn't touching that line, then it's going to just stay still. For this AI, I'm going to specifically focus on a few brawlers that shoot a single shot. This is because it is very easy to calculate the trajectory of that bullet if they always go inside one straight line. And those brawlers that I'm going to use this AI on is going to be Piper, Brock, Jesse, B, Byron, and finally but not least, Penny. With the master plan out of the way, it is finally time to build the AI. Now, for every AI, you need training data. And the training data for this project is going to be an image of gameplay, where there is a box around. Now that we have the master plan out of the way, it is finally time to build the AI. For every AI, you need training data. And this will show the AI what we want to output given an input. For this project, the input is going to be an image of gameplay. And then we want the AI to output a box surrounding the bullet. To get this data, it requires two phones. One phone to act as an enemy, and the other phone to be recording the shots that the enemy shoots. Well, there is a minor difficulty. And that is because I only have one phone. Now, I could borrow a friend's phone. But that is if I had a friend, which I don't since I'm a programmer. The next best option is to use an Android emulator called Bluestacks and it will simulate me having another phone but it will be on my computer. So now with a new plan in mind, it's time to set a new account up. And after downloading and installing Brewstars, I named my new account Epic Coder and yes, that does represent me. But after a few minutes, let's just say my computer was the reason why global climate change was happening. Because it was actually burning my whole room. Furthermore, just within a few minutes using blue stacks, it crashed halfway through again. But for the time being, I decided to ignore the screaming of my computer and started working on a program that would take screenshots on my screen every few seconds to get images of a bullet. And so I definitely coded for a few minutes to create it. And no, I didn't just go and stack over.
But this method of taking screenshots weren't working because Bluestacks was turning my computer into an industrial microwave and only 1 in 20 images contained a bullet, meaning that for every 1000 images I take, I can only use 50. At this point I was ready to give up, but then I had another idea that wouldn't burn my computer to ashes, but this one requires a lot of time. I guess I won't be touching grass for this whole month, but it's not like I was going to anyway. Jokes aside, this method only requires one phone, but it's basically brute force. This involves cycling three games against bots in hope to play against one of the specific brawlers that I had said earlier. Now I may or may not have used this as an excuse to play more Brawl Stars, but after playing for two hours, I broke the video down into individual frames. And let's just say that there are way too many frames, because now I need to filter through 3000 images. And unlike most people, I have a life. So of course, I'm not going to filter through 3000 images. Surely I'm not going to spend that long, right? Finally, I finished filtering all of the images so that they contain a bullet in them. The next step takes even more time, which is annotating. For this AI to work, I need to give bounding boxes of where all the bullets are located in the image. And that took over 6 hours, so a subscribe to this channel will be incredibly appreciated. After I finish annotating hundreds of images, I begin to train this AI. And the architecture of this AI is actually called YOLO. And before you ask, it does not mean you only live once, but it actually means you only look once. In order to train this AI, I got a Google Collab notebook off the internet, which allows me to use the annotated images I made earlier and input them into the AI. I have actually trained this AI with several different hyperparameters, which will change its accuracy. And after training 20 times, I've got two graphs where the accuracy on is on top and the loss is on the bottom. And as you can see, the red line has reached an 85% accuracy in a small number of iterations, which is absolutely insane. With all this hard work out of the way, it is time to test this AI out on actual images of gameplay. And surprisingly, it is doing incredibly well, with only a few bullets not being labelled here and there. With that, I'm going to end this video on a good note. However, you may be thinking that I still haven't built a bot to dodge bullets in the actual game, and this is because this video took me forever to make. So I'm going to be making a part 2 later during this week and I'll be posting that very soon.